What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you some pro CS2 Mirage nades, tips and tricks. I've collected a bunch of clips watching a couple of Sydney demos as well as various other online matches. If you learned something new from this video, like the video, comment and subscribe. Let's get right into it. This is what the current stair smokes looks like as it blooms all the way down and covers sandwich. I am going to show you a couple ways to throw stair smoke that doesn't do this. The first way to smoke stairs is stand in the middle of this wall, remain standing, use the tip of your smoke and you're going to put it below this leaf as shown here. Once you get that line, go ahead and left click throughout. The smoke will bounce off Tetris, lands right here deeper than the normal stair smoke and you're going to see that the smoke does not extend down and bloom down towards sandwich. It's going to extend down towards stairs giving you full cover. That stair smokes position is a common position to smoke jungle. So you could actually use this one here where you crouch at that wall, aim above that brick there, then go ahead and left click throw. You can see the jungle smoke is going to bounce off the stairs to land like this. If you guys don't know, I have a website, cs2.app. This is a project that I've been working on. This is my website, guys, Nard out here and Nades out here. So all the Nades that you're currently seeing in this video will eventually be featured and make it easy for you to find on cs2.app as well as you can go to the pov directory see how the pros play choose the map choose the ct or t position and then there's also tactics for you and your friends and teammates to run like the pros and we've also got a team finder if you are looking for a team or player make sure to check it out cs2.app link is down below in the description this is how jw smoke stairs go ahead and get on the platform go ahead and position and stand like this behind this wood look for this bottom part of the antenna then go ahead and move it to the left of your crosshair as shown like this. Afterwards, left click throw while you're standing. Smoke is going to land here on top of stairs and it does not extend out towards sandwich. However, the smoke does extend out a bit towards the site. Smoke stairs from this door here. Go ahead and position in the middle of this door frame and then put your crosshair above this part of the roof. Afterwards, jump throw. You can see the trajectory of this smoke is going to take a bit longer for it to land since it has such a high arc. Deep top connector smoke from the top platform here. Go ahead and position with that line, stand up, aim as shown, run forward and jump throw. You are going to fall off the T platform. This smoke was meta towards the end of CSGO. Sense shows a really good CT smoke where you're going to position with this end of the wall with this line right here. Then while you're standing, aim at this wood that's sticking out of the wall, then jump throw. The smoke is going to land on top of ticket. It fully covers CT, leaving no gaps as well as no one ways, even if you jump on top of ticket. Fast jungle smoke. Go ahead and stand to the left of this wall. Aim here above the middle of the window, then jump throw. What makes this jungle smoke different is look how deeper it lands. So it's not going to extend out towards sight and bench compared to other fast jungle smokes. Fast stair smoke from spawn, stand next to these stairs, go ahead and put your position of a crosshair like this, then go ahead and jump throw. Now you know how to do fast A smokes from T spawn. Game of Legion has their own A smokes. For the stair smoke, stand in front of the trash can, aim here at the corner, then go ahead and walk forward before you reach the end of the logo, go ahead and jump throw. Now let's learn how to throw that deep jungle smoke right there. Here's how you throw the jungle smoke. Stand next to this wall, put your crosshair at this part of the wire above that wood. Then go ahead and jump throw. You need to throw this stair smoke in order to use this jungle smoke in order to take care of that gap right there. Bat Boom is going to throw this smoke wall on A and I'm going to quickly show you how to throw these three smokes that go from default triple to stairs with a top stairs mount off. Let's learn the smokes from left to right. First Zorty is standing at the end of the wall for the smoke aim here above this little chimney thing jump throw. Put your stairs molotov, aim here, jump throw. You could jump on top of default to see over the smokes, which one of the bet boom players do. After he throws the middle smoke that lands in front of triple, go ahead and position with that mark at the end of the platform, stand up, aim at this part of the roof, left of that mark towards the right, then you're going to left click throw. For the right smoke, you're going to see Kyron here inside ramp crouches in this back corner. He gets the lineup. Once he gets the lineup, he stands up, then left click throw. Now you know how to throw this A smoke wall by Bet Boom. Gamer Legion with a very unique A smoke wall that involves three smokes the Palace Dark smoke, Midsight smoke, and this smoke here 
that lands on top of the wall in front of missiles that goes ahead and extends all the way down and they use these smokes as cover to get the CT and blocks from jungle. Let's learn how to throw them. Acorn throws two smokes near this doorway. He's gonna get stuck like this while standing for this missile smoke. Position with the tip of the pin of the smoke like this. Go ahead, left click throw. And then for the top triple or top wall smoke that lands on top of here, as you can see, is a jump throw. For the balcony smoke, you're going to see Snack's position with the end of this wall. Then he's going to put his crosser as shown here, afterwards left click throw. This smoke will allow Gamer Legion to come out and go through the smoke with flashes without being seen. Isaac has CT flash lineup where he's standing in the middle of this pillar to the left of it, puts his crosser at this part of the line. Without moving his mouse, he's going to strafe into this wood part of the wall, then a left click throw for his teammate when he calls for it, which you're going to see lands over the missiles and blinds anyone peeking from CT. Top con and deep jungle smokes from one position where you're standing back here. For the top con smoke, this is the standard antenna one, jump throw. For the jungle smoke, aim as shown, then go ahead and jump throw. You can then flash your teammates out ramp, which we see it's super effective, blinding the CTs up close. And then you're going to see these two smokes together is going to create a deeper wall as shown here. This deep jungle smoke lineup from outside ramp is still very meta. Where you aim above this mark without moving your mouse, go ahead and get inside ramp, crouch in this corner, jump throw the smoke, followed up with two flashes with the jump throw. The flashes are super good as they bind multiple positions including dark. Pair this up with a deep top con smoke which I'm going to show now. But I've seen many teams still use this in CS2, the smokes and tactic. To throw the deep top con smoke, go ahead and position with this mark on the wall. Turn around while standing, put your crosser here below this light as shown here, then walk two steps forward and jump throw. Smoke bounces off this wall and lands deep like this. This is how you smoke jungle from team mid. Stand along the back wall where you position in the middle of those two walls, put your crosser here, then jump throw. You can see eyeballers Molotov the window and they smoke jungle here on their T pistol and they're gonna come up connector. Here is a set lineup to Molotov Dark from Palace. Go ahead and position with this wall with your crosshair. Then go ahead and turn to the side, aim there, run forward and left click throw. Here's how Nox smokes top mid. Stand on top of the trash can where you're back along the wall. Aim below this antenna. Go ahead and left click throw. With the new smoke dynamics, it does extend out towards the left and goes down towards mid ramp. The reason why I'm showing you this because if you compare it with the standard normal top mid smoke, which is shown here, you're going to see the mid smoke that extends down. This portion of it is huge. So CTs technically could play behind this smoke as shown here to use it as cover. The most common way that I've seen that pros are throwing the window smoke is stand next to the trash can, aim here with this lineup, then hold D and jump throw. There's a new way of smoking window. You're going to actually stand in front of the trash can, put your crosser here, then hold D and jump throw. The one thing with the window smoke is that you're going to see when I cover it on the CT side is that CTs have been trying to blow it up in order to peak mid. One way to counter that is to have an op posted on that position like JW did. Mossy B split nade, stand in front of the trash can for the window smoke, aim here, hold D, jump throw, then fall back into the trash can. And you can use a scope to smoke bottom connector, aim there, go ahead and jump throw. And you're going to see the smoke lands on top of bottom con on that ledge there. And the connector smoke is going to give you full cover from A as well as connector to go up cat walk alongside the window smoke. Another way to throw the connector smoke is go ahead and stand next to this trash can, aim here at the rug, then jump throw. This smoke is going to bloom differently, which I'll show in a bit. If the CTs throw a bottom con smoke at the start of the round, you can see it pairs up really well and blocks off all of mid. And you're going to see it used in a different round. And here's what the smoke will look like if the CTs don't throw a bottom con smoke. It is going to bloom halfway, but gives full cover from top mid. Smoke off connector by standing in front of the trash can. You're going to aim at this part of the wall, then jump throw. The smoke is going to land on the stairs here and fully blooms up, giving full cover from connector and A, covering both sides. How Batboom uses this smoke is they pair it up with an instant mirage window smoke. And these two smokes at the start of the round paired up with these connector flashes will allow your teammates to go up fast cat to short. 
You could also smoke connected from this back corner. Go ahead and stand, aim above this rug, then jump throw. The smoke once again will land on the stairs, giving full cover due to the volumetric effects of the smokes. One more way to smoke connector from this back corner. Put your crosser here while you're standing, go ahead and jump throw. Window Molotov from top T mid where you stand in this corner, put your crosser here, run forward and jump throw before you reach that wall. Use this Molotov to come out mid on T pistol. One common way in the pro scene in CSGO to cross the back boxes from T mid is to use this run boost which we're going to see it being used in CS2 by Vitality and that flash is super good to the left here because it's going to cover certain positions such as short and it's not going to blind you as it lands behind the box. And here is Apex boosting. The one thing you have to note about boosting is you don't want to extend too far to where you can be seen from connector. That is a common mistake where the player on the bottom runs too far. It gets picked off by an opper who's holding top mid. Getting into window is so much easier now because there's no light when the window is smoked off. CTs can't spot you. So now you'll see CTs try to get on the opposite side to counter that. The most common way to smoke top con when you're behind the boxes from pros from what I've seen from Naphne and Alexa B so far is they put their pin there with the antenna then left click throw while standing. Mirage market window smoke as well as short smoke from one position where you're standing in this back corner for the market window aim at that corner jump throw for the short smoke aim here then left click throw while you're standing then you can follow it up with a B site flash. Here is a position and lineup to throw the better version of the market window smoke where you're going to position as shown, then stand up, put your crosser like this on this part of the wood, then jump throw. Afterwards, you're going to move up where you're going to throw B flashes for your teammate where you're standing next to this wood here, then jump throw this flash, and then you're going to see a follow up flash. The reason why this market window smoke is better because it lands faster. Here's another look at the set B flash where you're standing next to that wood, aim here, then go ahead and jump throw. This is the most common B flash that I've seen so far. The bench defensive smoke is the most common defensive smoke on the B site on Mirage. And if you have a HE nade, this is going to be super important to expose that position. With how wide the top mid smoke is, where it covers all the way of catwalk, as a CT, if you push up short, you could actually hide behind it to hold an off angle to see if any T's come mid ramp or towards Delpan. I've seen a lot of pros miss this fast boost at the start of the round to get their opera towards the top balcony. Let's learn how to do so. Bottom player, you're going to run through the middle of sight like this before you reach the shadow stop, look down, and your teammate's going to jump off your head. The player on top, you're jump crouching off your teammate's head as you're leaving the sight stairs. Here is another angle so you can get a better view of this boost. Alexa B doing what most players do which is jump spotting apps makes contact throws the defensive smoke as he falls back he's gonna throw this flash that is going to super blind that player there this T tries to come through and Lexi punishes him for doing so Zaiwu had the best a spawn and he's gonna go and peek top mid through connector with an op before he does so he throws this smoke in this corner besides giving him this one way it's designed to put out any mollies if the T's decide to molly connector early on Bottom con one way smoke when you're top right of top con, aim there at that part of the bottom con wall and then left click throw. Wait for the smoke to bloom a bit before you peek out towards top mid as shown there. This is not as strong as the one in CSGO but you might be able to catch the T's off guard with this. Quite a very interesting CT setup by fours inside connector with a stack here to the left side and then we've got one player with a smoke out when contact's made that player is going to throw the smoke which happens here after getting the frag here's what the t sees when he peeks connector he peeks into this double peak one counter you could do against the window smoke is to go ahead and shoot through the smoke as we're going to see here and you could go ahead and nuke the smoke this way besides nading it. Here's Acor taking advantage of this concept by jumping top of the bench. When the smoke blooms, he already had a pre-line top mid where he's going to shoot and he's able to get a headshot. Smokes are messed up right now in regards to Mirage window smokes. There are some smokes thrown that won't cover all the gaps. So if you're on bricks or if you're on the opposite side of the bench, sometimes it leaves a gap where you can see like this how Nico's doing it. And then here's Monacy who does his signature jump like this and he's going to be able to see over this window smoke clear as daylight 
So make sure you're checking your window smokes by jumping on top of bricks as well as the bench. Sphinx is going to jump on top of this bench inside window and takes advantage of this window smoke. Very important guys to practice your window smokes and check to see if it leaves any gaps on either sides. If you're the window player, you need to have an HE. This is the most meta HE nade on the CT side where you're behind the bench. Have your teammate flash mid. You're going to time it with this right click jump throw which nukes the smoke allowing you to safely peek with the flash. This nade is here to stay and it's current in meta. Unless they do something about this, I don't see this nade going away in the meantime. But the most effective way to use this setup with the nade is make sure to have a flash from a site which works perfect here from Gamer Legion. And don't forget guys, we could also use this lineup as a flash which we see Zaiwu do here before peeking mid again. Besides nuking the window smoke, another common smoke that CTs are nading is the top mid smoke, which we're going to see happen here with Team 500. Not just the window player guys, but the player playing connector would be useful having an HE as well if you're helping out mid, could nade the top mid smoke as shown here, like Kenkanito. I don't know if this was planned or not by Navi, but you're going to hear some spamming through the smoke before this nade gets thrown to possibly mask the sound of nade so the teams might not expect the smoke to be nuked. This is how you flash ramp from ticket for your teammate up close, aim top left of this chimney, run forward and left click throw. We're gonna see a defensive one way smoke thrown by this player here, however you're going to see that this player peaks way too early before the smoke blooms but let's actually look at the smoke if that player got on top of ticket. So here's me underhanding the smoke and the smoke's gonna go over ticket in front of it. Now, if you were to jump on top of ticket, you have a one way to peek over the smoke towards ramp in a site. Smoke bottom con from ticket, go ahead and stand at this part of ticket, aim here above the wall, then go ahead and left click throw. Bottom con smoke from short, stand with this door handle and then you're going to put your crosser at the dark spot of the bricks, jump throw afterwards. Super easy chair Molotov from short, all you have to do is aim at that part of the light, run forward and left click throw. This also works with the HE nade. We're going to see the Astral smoke being thrown from eyeballers. Make sure to check out my other videos where I cover a bunch of CS2 pro nades, tips and tricks on other maps as well besides Mirage. Make sure to subscribe guys, I plan on watching all of the I Am City demos and covering everything that's new that I see in future videos. You don't want to miss it. See y'all in the next one.